Hey there, I'm Elizabeth from Girl Scouts of Maine. And today I'm going to show you an activity as part of the Green Me Up Week, where we're highlighting ways that you can make your world a better place and use resources wisely. Today's activity is all about making a compost in a bottle. So the supplies that you're going to need for this activity are a two liter bottle, some organic material such as leaves or grass clippings, a little bit of dirt, some shredded newspaper, a spray bottle with some water, and then some food scraps. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut off the top of your bottle like this. And this is a great place to get an adult to help you. The next thing that you're going to want to do is to poke some holes into the sides of your bottle. I used a nail for this and I just poked a bunch of holes around the sides and the bottom of my bottle like this. And this was a little hard so you also might want an adult to help you with this part as well. Once you have the holes in your bottle, the next thing you're going to want to do is start adding in your compost layers, starting with the dirt. The next layer I'm going to put in is my organic material, which is your leaves or your grass clippings. Next, I'm going to put in my shredded newspaper. like this. Now it's time for the fun part to put in my food scraps. So as you can see here, I have a variety of different food scraps. I have some coffee grounds, I have some eggshells, some onion skins, a tea bag, and some strawberry tops. So first I'm going to start with my coffee grounds, adding a few of those. Next I'm going to put in my eggshells, and then my onion skins and my strawberry tops. And your hands get a little bit messy with this, but that's part of the fun. Next, you're going to want to take your spray bottle and wet down all of your materials. Once your compost is damp, you're going to want to put the top of your bottle back on, upside down, like this, so that it acts like a funnel. So that in the days and weeks to follow, you can check your compost and if you notice it's getting dry, you can add some water to it just by squirting it down in the funnel. And you're going to want to check your compost every few days to make sure that it's not too dry. You're also going to want to stir or shake your compost up from time to time. And then in a few weeks, you should have some nutrient rich dirt that you can add to your garden or to pot some plants at your own. Thank you so much for doing this activity with me. I really hope you enjoyed it. Happy Green Me Up week, and don't forget to post pictures of yourself doing this activity and tagging yourself on Facebook with the hashtag GreenMeUp2020. For more fun activities and ideas, be sure to check out the Girl Scouts of Maine Girl Scouts at Home webpage. Until next time!